Hi guys and welcome to a 1.8 Conquest mod installation video. So this is going to be a basically a mod installation video to explain how to download and how to get it running properly for the Conquest 1.8 uh, mod, uh, which contains all the features of 1.7 and more as it says here and it's a Forge mod. So the first thing we need to do guys is we actually need to run Minecraft. Uh, we actually need to make sure that we run just a vanilla version of 1.8.9, okay? So you might have to recreate a new profile. I'm just going to do a new profile. I'm just going to call it Nilla uh, 1.8.9. You know, nice and simple. And then use version. I'm going to do it as a, there you go, 1.8.9. So that's the release there. So it's not using a release like with Optifine or anything like that. It's literally just the normal release. Uh, save that profile and select that profile because even though I created it, it didn't seem to do anything with it. There you go, Vanilla 1.8.9. And then just press play. So what we'll do is we'll let that obviously normally download stuff. It might take a little bit longer. And the reason we have to do this is we have to do this before we download Forge. So we'll run that. And wait a little bit of time. There you go. It'll come up here. All good. Just close it. <laughs> Simple as that. Next thing we need to do is we're going to install Forge. Now there is instructions on this page and there is a link in the description to this page. So feel free to grab that. But it's just the, the main page of the Conquest mod. Um, yeah, click on that link, go onto this page. You're then going to have these instructions. These instructions are pretty clear. We're basically going to do this this anyway. If you go onto the step one, which is download Forge for 1.8.9, click on that, I'll bring it over to Forge. If the version is slightly different, now you can just literally just click on any of these versions and it will bring up like the latest and or all downloads. You can see there's a lot of releases for Forge. What we're interested in is the 1.8.9 version, at least for this. Now you get two options here, you get the latest and you get recommended. I always go for recommended, um, though to be honest the latest version is always fine, it's just a different build number as you can see, so this is the, uh, to fix bugs and minor stuff like that. But if we're on Windows, we just click on the installer-win, so there we go, click on that one. That should start it downloading. You'll probably get something like this. Ignore this advert, all you need to have a look at is the top bar. This is just Never click on anything in here because it's going to be some sort of virus or something stupid. But there you go. You can see at the top we just do skip and leave page. Yep, we want to leave the page. And that will actually just download Forge. Never click inside here. I always look at the top bar. And when that, that advert's done, it's just an advert that's trying to fish for you to click on it. All right. So click on Forge and just do run. And then what we want to do is we want to install the client. We don't want to install the server. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're just going to click on that. We're going to do OK. It's going to run, and there you go. It's successfully um, installed the client forge for version blah, 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 or client profile for forge. Now we just do OK. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to have a quick look inside, um, basically inside our Minecraft folder. So the way you can do that is you can just press start. I am on Windows 7. Might be a little bit different these days, but you just do percent app data percent, and that should bring up this here. Just got a load of stuff in it. Double click on your Minecraft. Now mine redirects itself. Uh, but inside here, if you go into the mods folder, just make sure you don't have any mods in this main bit. What would that look like? Well, probably something like this. You know, you'd have them like that, all right? But we don't want that. So make sure there isn't any in there. With Forge, this is something that people don't know. You can have multiple versions of Minecraft mods in different folders. So for example, I've got a 1.7.10 folder that has my 1.7.10 mods. And I don't have it in the main one. That means that I can have multiple versions of Forge with multiple different versions of Minecraft without moving around a load of mods inside this folder uh, and stuff like that. You can see that I've got this one named Normal Camera Studio. It doesn't really matter. So if I run Forge 1.7.10, it'll look inside this folder. If I run 1.8.9, it'll look inside the 1.8.9 folder, which doesn't exist yet. Don't worry about it. We just want to make sure this is pretty much empty. So I've got a Camera Studio thing here I can actually delete because it's, it's just trash, but I've just got versions. That's fine if you've got that. So now if we just run Minecraft again. Now we'll let it load up. There we go. And then what we want to do is we want to find that Forge. There you go. That's the Forge version right there. It's just appeared down the bottom. If we go into Edit Profile, you can see Release 1.8.9 Forge and then 1.8. And it's got the version. That's the one we just downloaded. So we're going to just rename this. We can just call it um, anything really, to be honest. Forge 1.8.9. And I'm just going to do like Conquest Mod, just so it's really clear. There we go. And I've just got that. You could add more RAM to it. For example, if you click on this um, arguments thing, there is 
I don't know if you guys get this by default or not. Uh, I've got a ton of RAM on my PC. I've actually got uh, 64 gigs. So I'm going to put 24. But there's no way. I'll just put 12 because it's not going to need that much at all. And I'll just do save profile. Now we're going to run this even though we haven't put any mods in there. And you'll see what happens. So that will just allow it to set up. I'm sure this is still the process for it. There you go. So it's just loading those up. And there we go, it's all up there. So that was as quick as it is. And you can just see that it should just have like micro coder pack or forge mod loader, micro forge. That's pretty much it. Quit the game, close the whole thing. What we're going to do now, uh, we can come, come back and close this. Yep, we're going to actually leave the page. We need to, there you go, you can see look, launch the game using the forge profile. Um, we actually need to download Optifine. So let's grab Optifine, let's click onto here. Now we don't want a 1.9.2, we want 1.8.9, okay? And there's any Ultra, we're just going to download that one. And again, it'll probably come up with an advert of some sorts. Let's go leave page again. Cookie's not available, well that's fine. Go back, click on it again, and hopefully it'll work. There we go, so now it's come up with an advert again. This is an advert down here, ignore it, wait up until here, until this goes to skip. So this does skip ad. There we go. No, we don't want it to do that. Exit off that, because that's trying to click you onto something. There you go. It should come up to this point. See, this is the problem with adverts in general. This is why you've got to be careful. But that one will do it. If it comes up with that message, yeah, just keep it. That's absolutely fine. Um, you do not need to run it, though, like I just did. What I'm going to do, though, is inside the Minecraft Mods folder here, I'm going to do a new, uh, new folder. Okay, and I'm going to do 1.8.9 and open that up. And then I'm going to have to grab, so put this on the other side, from downloads. Now I have got this open. There you go, from downloads. I'm going to grab that version of Optifine. Now I've got tons of stuff in here. Let's just go for little search. <laughs> As you can see, I've downloaded this before. Um, so I've got tons of different versions of Optifine. There's the latest one that I've just downloaded today. I mean, look at the date modified. That's what it is now copy that into there. It doesn't matter if it's got a, a colon around it or anything like that. But that's absolutely fine. Then we can close that. And then the next thing we need to do is download the Conquest 1.8 mod. So that's actually up here. And if we just click on this Add Focus link down the bottom, again, it's going to show us an advert which is complete trash and we want to ignore this. Don't click on anything. Wait until this Skip button in the corner comes up and then when you press Skip, it'll come up with another advert. That's good. Wow. So this is the problem with adverts. But I've just closed that, and now it's come up with this, which has actually got a download. This is actually a media fire. And that's the one we want to get. Again, this is the problem with adverts, mod modern adverts and downloads for Minecraft. It's a nightmare. So I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to put that into the 1.8.9 folder. Okay, so we've now got that. You can see mine's got a dash 1 on it. So it's the second time I've downloaded it. Yours will probably just be normal, and probably just look like that. Same with your Optifine as well. Okay, so that is all in the 1.8.9 folder. We can also have mods in the 1.10, for example. And there we go, that's right in there. So we've got Optifine and we've got the Conquest mod. It's pretty much all they've really asked for. Let's go back onto here. There we go, back onto this main page. And let's run Minecraft. Okay. Let's go up with this again. Da, 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 da. And there we go, you've got the Forge Conquest mod, that one we set up before. We're just going to click uh, Play. Not run. And then, for a little bit of time. And this all loading up, so you can see it's going to be flashing through these new mods that we've got. Mod loader. A little hammer as well, like quite like that. Just let it do its thing. And eventually, it should start itself up. Come on. There we go. So, if you go into Options, and we go into Resource Pack, so this is the next bit, we need to actually get the other pack. If you go into Open Resource Pack folder, uh, you can see I've got a ton of resource packs. This is just your normal one. If we go onto the main website, we can actually click on this link here to get the Conquest Mod one. Again, ignore this thing here. Look at the top bar. Literally, just look at this corner. And as soon as it goes into Skip, click on that. Get a load of stuff here. If you ever get anything like this, Never click OK, click on the tiny little thing like that. And ignore that, or just close the whole thing. 
Close the whole thing. That's not working for some reason. That's good. Let's have a go at that again. <laughs> this is the absolute nightmare, unfortunately, with Minecraft these days. It's because there's too many of these things. There we go. That one came straight through. So you should get to this page. Click on download. Okay. And once you've done that, drag that into your resource packs folder. I've already done it, so I'm not going to download it again. But you'll see this big conquest mod. It looks angry. It's got lots of capitals in it. That's the one you want. So what we do, go into your resource packs. And there you go. Conquest mod. Grab that. Do done. And when that all loads up, we should be happy. Pretty much. Though it might take a little bit of time. Because there's so many textures in Conquest these days, it will take a little bit of time. There we go. And that's done. If we go into single player, for example, let's just create a new world. And so we can just test this. So we've got a new world. I'm going to call it Conk. Mod YouTube test because then I'm going to know what it is. And I'm just going to go on to creative. Uh, generate structures, no. Super fat, I don't want. Yeah, I can go to large biomes or something. Now, cheats, yes, done. Create new world. So let it do its thing. And after it's made its own world, when it's thinking about it, there we go. Okie doke. We're now in the world. So let's just do. I'm set, and I'm going to do 6,000. There we go, that's better. And then we can just fly up. So, where the hell am I? <laughs> this is looking very interesting. That's oh, because we're in a tiger biome, that's why it's all yellow. So, what we should have anyway in your menu is access to a ton of extra blocks. So, currently, this is just one gigantic list, but it means that you'll be able to put down stuff like curtains. Finally. And look, we get rabbits. Um, so you'll be able to put down all these different textures and be able to play around with a ton of creative stuff, uh, as you saw in my in my kind of like conquest mod uh, overview video. Hopefully that helps anyway. But it's as simple as that, guys. Really, really easy. Um, I do advise if you are a 1.7 user of conquest mod to actually type in the name of what the the thing was before. Web, for example, will be the cobwebs. As you'll see down here, it says conquest colon web two, and and you get all those stuff so you can get your metal hook bag on a metal hook thing. Why not? Bang. Um, and all that kind of stuff. Or just type in the names. It's a lot easier to actually search for it. And there you go. Pressure plate, for example. Because, ah, checkerboard, that's why. <laughs> Rather than chess, I would have thought chess. So you can like get all your different stuff as well as uh, stuff like that. And slabs. To get some seats, for example. And there we go, like those. And maybe we could even get some chair backs as well. Which, there we go. Like that. And we can just put those on top of there. And we're done. So we've got a nice little checkers board. So it's as simple as that, guys. Really easy, easy install. Um, have fun playing around with it. Obviously, you get shaders as well as part of 1.8 these days. Uh, the later versions of 1.8, I think 1.8.8, .8 gave shaders. So make sure you get some shaders as well and you get the beautiful skies. Uh, this is CUDA. But hopefully, guys, that has helped you. Um, if it has, please do comment, like, subscribe. Um, I'm going to be trying to do more of this type of stuff if that interests you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one.